Nick, there's been a lot of talk about your 2019 game, but I just want to know, with, with what you were able to do in that game, how much of a message did you send to some younger players, younger teammates that there's always going to be opportunities to make a play and, and that play can springboard your career? Uh, do, you, do you feel like that play helped maybe some future players, some future teammates of yours? Oh, uh, yeah, I feel like it definitely did. Um, just like, you know, just being ready for your moment at any time, you know, being ready when your name's called because you never know when it's your time to make a play. So, you know, looking back when as a young player, when I was, you know, that young, you know, it really is, it probably does give a lot of hope to a lot of young players in the team. So, Nick, thanks so much, man. Have a good week, okay? You too. Right, Andrew. Yeah, Nick, looking back at that same moment, how much did that mean for you? Uh, here a couple years later, looking back, just confidence wise uh, and, and everything else helping you sort of springboard into to what you've become as a player uh, off of that play. I'll probably say it definitely gave me a lot of confidence because um, you know, prior to that, I didn't really make a lot of plays. And, you know, that having been like a big play and, and that type of moment, you know, in, in an important game like that. I mean, it really helped my confidence that I can really play like college football, you know, with the best of the best, and especially in these big games. So, you know, I just, you know, try to build it off that game and, and just keep going. And, and I would definitely say that that, that, that game is probably a huge reason why, like, I, I'm as confident as I am today to play. So. And what do you remember about the, the moments leading up to that play, especially after uh, having a, a chance at getting a pick the, the play before? Yeah, I was kind of like, like, damn, like, uh, like, I really dropped the ball, like, the play before, like, and they were already kind of driving. So I was like, damn, like, I hope this doesn't cost us the game or whatever. And then, you know, thank God, like, I was able to, you know, break on it and make a make a play in the next play. So, you know, that that, 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 that kind of slipped out of my mind after. And, you know, I was just happy that I was able to make a play for the, to win for the team. So. Yeah, I appreciate it, Nick. No problem. Right, Jeff. Hey, Nick, I was just going to see uh, your assessment of how the team's done in practice this week, ramping the intensity back up off the bye week. No, it was good. And I feel like even during the bye week, it was still like a lot of intensity. If anything, it was more intense last week than it is this week. But no, the last two days have been real competitive um, for both sides of the ball. So I'm really happy with the way we're practicing. Yeah, has it kind of matched that uh, those levels you guys hit prior to that Texas Tech game? I believe so, yeah. Perfect. Thanks, man. Yep. James Hill. You know, Nick, yesterday we were talking to Alex, and he talked about your great play in, 20, in, in the 2019 game, and he said that uh, that was a great play by you, but it hasn't defined you because you have made a number of great plays since then. And he said he's going to need you to make more coming up on Saturday. But I thought it was a great thing. I'm curious what you think about what he said because he just doesn't want you to be known for one play because he says you shouldn't be because you've made so many great plays at OU. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I agree with him. I feel like that play, that Baylor game, is probably one of the most, like, like iconic plays, I guess, in a way. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like it shouldn't define me. There, there's definitely been, like, other, like, pretty good plays that I've made over the course of my career that I feel like, you know, as a whole, like, kind of, like, describes me or, like, like something to remember me by, but no, definitely that one interception play is definitely one of the iconic plays. So, well, he definitely respects you. There's no doubt about it. When he's talking, he he thinks he said Baylor's a really good offensive team, and he really needs you guys to get after the pass rush. Talk about you know that assignment, what you guys have to do to get after Bohannon and see if you can get him off his mark. I mean, yeah, he's a guy who you know if he if there's uh, he's going to give his receivers a chance. Um, you know, he trusts those guys a lot. You know, it's going to be a lot of play action game. So, you know, we can't make him comfortable and just let him sit back there because, you know, he's going to give his guys a chance. You know, he's going to hit the 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 receivers, that, you know, on time and stuff like that. So we just got to try and make life, life hard for him. Hey, good luck, Nick. Hello. Jesse Crittenden. Hey, Nick, it's good to talk to you, man. Um, I, I just wanted to ask, uh, it seemed like it was a, it was a good performance for you guys against Texas tech, especially compared to the week before against Kansas. Just how'd you, what'd you see from the defense's ability to kind of bounce back against Texas tech and, and how big is that going into this, this weekend against the good Baylor team? Um, it was good. You can just tell like the energy was kind of different that game, you know, with our, with the defense and just guys, you know, flying around and, 
you know, guys just trying to make plays and, and trying to, you know, follow the bottom line and stuff and stuff along those lines. So I don't know. It was just kind of a different feel and a different type of energy that we walked out with.